mate. That is 10 out of 10. <laughs> What's going on? So, just got through the gate for Budapest, so yeah, I might get myself a new camera. I'm thinking about getting the G7X2, I've said it a ton of times, but I've just got to bite the bullet now and actually do it. So, right, they've got the G9X, but I don't see any G7X2. Gonna have to ask. Right, they've got no G7X, which is a bit annoying, so I probably would have actually got one. I'll have a little look in Budapest, it might be cheaper in there. Well, gone blood. What are you saying? You alright? Okay. How come to your now? Oh, there they are. Right, you will not believe this, but Applegate printed Jack's boarding pass. And his boarding pass is quite big. Mate, that is 10 out of 10. I just got my thumbnail there as well. Perfect. That's absolutely brilliant. That is brilliant. Are you alright? Um, can I have that, please? A small cappuccino. And you've got some like coconut and banana cake. Mind That's what. Your name? Yeah, James. Lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Don't get your name. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Do you want some sugar? No. Death's yeah, not. Thanks. Oh, so no Wi-Fi. Fuming. So I just got myself a small cappuccino with this. Thai inspired, God knows what that means. And I got, oh mate, check this out. I got this, it was a pineapple, apple, and coconut and banana cake. So I'll have to find out what that's about. Three that's of your about. five a day. Exactly, three of my five a day in there. So uh, me and PJ went to Vietnam last year and we didn't drink hot drinks at all, did we? Like, no tea, no coffee, nothing. And then one day we was, we was like in this completely deserted little village on our motorbikes. You, you go into like places like that and you don't even ask what you want, they just, you just get what you're given. So she come over with like these little coffee things and yeah. just, it was like just a We shot. didn't know it was coffee. It looked like a Jager bomb basically, didn't it? Yeah. It's basically like a little Jager bomb. We didn't know it was coffee, we had no clue. So, and it was a nice well, We didn't one. know what to do either. No, it was that drip. Yeah, it was like in a drip coffee. one. I'll put a picture up of what like a Vietnamese cafe looks like. Couldn't be rude, just not have it. We just started to drink it. Anyway, so obviously we tried it. And, um, with air, departure. So anyway, we had it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we had it, so we weren't going to be rude, obviously. And it was like one of the nicest things I swear I've ever had. Yeah, it was well good. And ever since that day, pretty much been hooked on coffees. That's how we got into coffee. Anyway, enough of that. Catch you in a bit. Right, so basically, Wizz Air absolute pints. They don't let you on with like anything bigger than like a small lunchbox. So I'm obviously not going to be allowed to take this on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it and disguise it as a jacket. my jacket. What's going on, mate? Yeah. We're wheel taking it. <laughs> if I disguise it, would that it's work? Like a, yeah, that would. Yeah. Does it just look like a jacket? It just look like a normal 22-year-old guy. <laughs> right, so penny board getting on board worked. Thank you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever been to Hungary? First time. First okay. time. <laughs> you, uh, what do you recommend? Uh, well, you are staying in the heart of the city. The nightlife centre is Budapest. So you will find many bars and clubs and restaurants. Great. <laughs> so if you want to try the real Hungarian sausages and hams and everything, try oh, that. Oh, nice. Thank Just you. Just about. Definitely. It's about 
five, eight minutes easy going walk away from where you are. Also, I prefer Buddha side and Pest side. You are staying in Pest. Cool. Pest is more exciting for a tourist. There you are. Oh, God, laptop just got smashed. Buzzing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Cheers, mate. Have a good one. See you later. Thank you. Mate, this is like skateboard heaven around here. Yo, so I haven't even told you lot why I'm actually in Budapest yet. So the whole reason I'm here is literally just for a mate's birthday. I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing any work here, I haven't been employed to come here or anything like that. We just um just thought we'd come here for a couple of days and enjoy ourselves. And I really wanted to see the city. Budapest was somewhere I really wanted to go, so there's a couple of things that I've got lined up that I need to do. But while I'm here, obviously I've got my camera, I've got my intervalometer. I'm going to just try and do some photo, to be honest with you, I want to get some photography done. Definitely going to get some time lapses done, so sick. You should all enjoy that. And these roads are sick for skateboarding. So yeah, see in a bit. Oh, go on. Damn. I'm good. But I'm not that good yet. I'm sick, look at all them people up there, look. Mate, that's like some exclusive stuff. Mm. Not a terrible apartment to be fair. It's not like there's a hot tub here or nothing. I'm pretty buzzing. There's some serious time lapse potential here. It's on mate. Mate, that is crazy. <laughs> And we can watch! I just like to combine with it! We can watch! We can film it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is alright, so. Sauna in there, believe it or not. Oh, here we go. Cheeky little sauna in here. Well, oh, I'm not jumping over that. I've just seen something that's really, really cool. So there's these skateboarders here, and their mates live up in the apartments up there. And what they do to like let them know they're there, they like slam their skateboards against the ground so they can hear that there's a deck outside. And that's how they like let their mates know, like come and play out pretty much. So yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Right, I've just come across Film Club. Sounds a bit geeky, but might be somewhere to check out tomorrow actually. At least from there it's got I got caught speed camera. I know. <laughs> I nearly got caught speeding on the old uh, skateboard, didn't I? I'm trying to find some food. We have no idea where we're going. And everyone's um, getting a bit hungry. Everyone's mate. getting hungry. And what does hungry mean? Hungry and angry. <laughs> That's There's millions of places to go, but I mean, no one can decide. We have um, six, six of the Hungarian handmade beer lagers, please. Lager. Yeah, six, please. Six. Yeah. Okay. Can you give me a, um, a recommendation for like the local stuff? Basically, yeah. something Hungarian. Hungarian. Okay. 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 Something favourite. Hungarian. It's my favourite. The first one. Yeah. It's a pork knuckle. Yeah. The second one is the ribs. Oh. It's a homemade marinated barbecue. Yeah. And the third one is a hungry and mangalita stew. Cool. This is a similar food with the goulash. Oh, so think... after this, after you drink the stew one, it's a rugby. The I'll crispy pork ribs. I'll, I'll, uh, the yeah, I'll go for the ribs, please, mate, if that's right. Cheers. Thank you very much. Right. Right, these are apparently handmade Hungarian beers. I don't know how you make beer with your hands. And I must say, it's really nice. It tastes like proper like... How would you say it tastes? Fruity. It's quite fruity. It's quite fruity. And it's uh... It's quite like... Thick. If it was like thick, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Oh my god, that is not looking bad. That looks good. Tell me if you've ever seen asparagus, asparagus wrapped in bacon. 
Yes, yeah, so that was sick. Cover. That was well good. The guy was completely right. You've got to listen to locals. That was sick, mate. Sick, buff. Yo, so drunk skateboarding. Well, slightly drunk skateboarding might be a bad idea. So I might decide to end this vlog here. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the apartment now, probably get a couple of drinks in and maybe go out. It's up against his birthday, so might get a time lapse of the sky as well. Depending on how bad the light pollution is, I'm assuming it'll be quite bad around here, so yeah. So I'm gonna check out here and I will see you tomorrow in Budapest doing something hopefully interesting. It will be, so yeah, I'm checking out later on. Back at the apartment. Ben? No question about